Hey everyone, thanks for being here. This is our 17th episode of Authentic Conversations with Entrepreneurs. I'm so thrilled to have Sebastian Cruz here. He is the founder, and I love this word, uniter of True Freedom Partners. Um, but before we jump into you know Sebastian and, and his topic today, um, I always like to explain what is an authentic conversation? What do I mean by that? Um, and I describe the word authenticity as the good and growing that lives within all of us. Um, we live in a society where we see the good very easily online. That's what everyone wants to put out there. But this is a moment to really relate to the growing experience of another entrepreneur in this wonderful journey we get to experience. So um, let's start today with the topic that we're going to dive into. And that is dive in the depth. So Sebastian, thank you for being here. And um, as we start out, you know, just tell us, when did you first experience this? What does this topic mean to you? Yeah, so for me, it's all about passion. Passion, and I truly believe that your passion is your power. And so for me, my story began when I was not focused on passion at all. All I was focused on was three things, money, money, and money. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty. <laughs> there I was. So there I was, uh, 19, starting my own business. And nice. you know what? I was focused. I was determined. Um, very uh, braggadocious. And But we started going. <laughs> so we 11 extra revenue in nine months. My team ballooned to 25 full-time team members. And pretty wow. soon this dream that I had built, and I'm doing quotes with the dream, um, became a prison, became a prison mm. because I was working a hundred hours a week, stressed out of my mind and long story short, it all ended up imploding for a number of reasons. And in that moment where it imploded, I found myself back and moved in with my mom, which before that I was, uh, you know, I had all the answers, especially for family. You know, I had all the answers. I had all of this and all of that, all the, yeah. all that was gone. So in your twenties at this point, moving back home. 21, I think, 21 or 22, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So moved back in, and um, at the time, I went into a bunch of debt because I had payroll, 25 full-time people, so then you paid, and I couldn't let um, them go. I couldn't make that decision, so I sunk that back into a hole, and I culminated, it culminated in myself being literally in the fetal position, tears coming out of my eyes, and I'm like, I'm just trying to do a good thing, and like, this is not working. And personally, yeah. at that time, I just wanted to yank the cord. I started thinking of just, I want to, I don't want to be done with this. And in yeah. that moment, after a while, with the snot and the tears and everything, it was not pretty. <laughs> it's just where it was. That's so true. Everyone's been there at some point. Yeah. And, and then I started feeling this energy rising up. And I knew yeah. I have a purpose on this planet. And that purpose is to serve. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what that looks like right now, but I know it's there. And I'm going to follow that or die trying. And so in that moment, my priorities flipped. I went from the money, money, money to service. And money's mm. still an important part of that, of course. Yeah. So what's leading service? And so that mm. began my journey on this path of following my passion, where it just started with a feeling. Wow. Wow. Okay. I mean... I just literally got goosebumps as you said that. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for sharing. And I, I mean, so, I mean, yeah, let's just continue that path. So service, how did you get up off the floor? <laughs> and what did you do once you connected with serve? Yeah. So I went back to one of my key mentors, Nicholas David Nin, who is the founder of the soul contract community. And it's a personality profile, basically looking at what are you here to do? What are unique gifts? What are the challenges along the way? And so I went back to him with humbled eyes. I said, hey, let's take a look at that, you know, soul contract thing. And I started following that. And on version two, I created my SEO company and quickly grew that to multiple six figures. And where I found myself in the next chapter was I had freedom. I had highly passive income, had the time and freedom to really dive into now my passion. I knew my purpose was serving in a certain way. Now I was like, what do I really love to do? And I didn't know. And I didn't know for quite some time, but I explored with the time that I had. And yeah. that culminated with me really discovering that, what I love. Yeah. Wow. So it's, it's so interesting because I think 
I mean, this is so true. We see it in our, our culture and our, um, you know, in business that, you know, you can have, obviously, you know how to grow a company and, you know, been successful, but you weren't happy in it, you know, and, and you found yourself in these moments and the depth of it, right? Um, saying, okay, there has to be something more for me and, and my purpose here. So um, I, I love that, you know, yeah. Thank you for sharing this knot on the floor too. Like that was, <laughs> I, but, but I think that, you know, I don't, I, like I said, everybody's been there. It doesn't necessarily have to be, there's a reason they talk about the fetal position. It's not just when you're in, in the womb, you know, like mm. when we return to that, I think it's only up from there. So I love mm. that you, you know, yeah. We think it when we get to the bottom of the depth and the bottom of the barrel, if you will, of that depth, that, you know, that's it. But it's like the rainbow, you know? Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. So, um, so, so you, you said this is true freedom. So your business now is true freedom. So what does that look like? Like, how have you combined this passion and purpose and, you know, building a, a successful business now? Yeah. So the next part of the story, something unexpected happened. And, but first true freedom, what does that mean? Uh, for me, it personally means having the time and money to do what you love. True freedom, having the time and the money to do what you love. And I notice that I didn't that. Say, we need to hear that again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's like, you notice that I didn't say what I love, it's what you love, because I believe you have a unique passion, you have unique insights. So it's for you and it's personal. It's personal. Yeah. You have the money to do what you love. Right, right. Yeah. So, so that's what's it's beautiful because you've built a business or that's what you're doing, but how. I know we talked before this, so um, I don't know, if, you know, you've talked about like head and heart and hands, and I just yeah. love the visual of that. Does that connect to the passion piece? And Yes. So this is what happened next in the story, which is I had my business that was giving me freedom, and now I get to really dive into my passion and see how to make a business out of that, what that would even look like. And so I started getting clear on my passion that I thought, okay. I built companies before pretty quickly and now it's based on what I love to do. And now it's connecting my purpose that every cell in my body is born to do. So why wouldn't it be easy? And that was so wrong. It was <laughs> the music starts. It wasn't, it wasn't clicking. It would click here. It wouldn't click there. And it was very uh, humbling to me because I'm like, well, I've done this before. And what I learned through that process is that there was a, there's a different playbook for following our passion. Mm. It's a different playbook. It's a completely different playbook than just launching a business that, you know, hey, it's there to do good, obviously, to deliver value, but it's not like that thing that you want to yeah. be doing for the rest of your life, like your forever right. business. Like, I can't not do this. Yeah. Right. So I started testing so many different things out um, through trial and error. And as I would learn a little bit more, people would show up and say, hey, can you teach me about this certain thing? Can you coach me on this certain thing? And that's what started putting together the pieces over a journey that was a lot longer than I expected, a lot longer than I wanted, and a lot more painful than I would have ever believed <laughs> to put together everything in this playbook for following your passion. And that's what birthed true freedom. Nice, nice. So so what are the head, head? Oh, all right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Don't let me yeah. butcher it. You tell it. <laughs> so uh, I, I focus on helping you follow your passion, launch your program, and grow your community. Mm -hmm. So if you have a special expertise and experience that you love sharing with others, then what I've discovered through trial and error is that it needs to speak to their head, their heart, and their hands. And this is where I had such tar tough lessons, and I know a lot of people have as well. So say you have your expertise, you have a method, you have an experience you want to share with others. In order to sell it, if we want purpose, profit, and passion to all come together, we need the profit piece. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. what happens, which I've had happen during that phase of my life too, where I was giving value, giving, 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 people are loving it. But I'm like, no, no dinero's coming in, or very little. <laughs> I feel depleted. I'm giving from an empty cup. Yeah. And well, yeah. I don't want that to happen to you. So the key thing that I found, one of the pieces is 
speak to their head with what your expertise delivers. That's the ROI. What's the return on investment? What am I going to yeah. get? Speak to their heart. That's why you, why did they choose you? There's, you know, if every, if there was a hundred different products that the exact same, which they're not going to be, but let's just say they were, they're okay. going to choose who they resonate in their heart with. And that's yeah. you. And that's why I love the this. Authentic you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then the last part is the hands. So your expertise in a certain method, blueprint process that they can follow. So head, heart, and hands. And when that happens, you give your love. And the more you give out, the more money comes back in. Nice. Nice. So um, I love that you've, you know, experienced this yourself and that it's built from a place of your journey. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, where is this something, you know, obviously this has been a process for you to create with time, trial and error. Um, so is this something that, you know, connecting with this truth of like, you know, let's dive in the depths. That's, you know, how you discover that, right? How you put it together. Um, I mean, do you dive in the depths with your clients now or like, where do you meet them? Like, what's that time when they come to you? Yeah, it's the required ticket to enter the door. <laughs> Wait, they're already in the depth or that they're willing to go in? Uh, both. Actually, now that you say it, both. So they've got to be able to go there um, have been there deep, whether that's spiritual type exploration, therapy, um, shadow work. And then it's like, okay, that's prerequisite to get to the door. And then once we go in, we're going to be swimming around there, baby. <laughs> we're going to be <laughs> swimming around, you know? Yeah, yeah. But if we yeah. don't go there, then the unique self doesn't go there as you, you know, absolutely know and share with your clients. And if that doesn't go out in the marketplace, then no one's going to show up. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that you have that like pre-qualifier and, and know it so well. Cause I think when you were explaining like the head, heart and hands, like it's interesting. Cause I feel that, you know, business, traditional business, as we know, it is this all head. Right. ROI, ROI, the money, money, money thing. Right. And um, I know you don't operate from, solely that place and I don't operate from that place. And, and so maybe my um, perception is skewed a little bit, but I, I feel like this is the awakening that our, you know, society is having right now. Like, I feel like, you know, if we, you know, studied um, Gen Z and like the larger consumer market, cause I nerd out on that stuff. Um, so, you know, not just a feeling, but it's, it's, you know, people, the new consumers want the heart. Their heart is in it, you know? So I don't know. Do you see that too? Absolutely. And I'm going to share something here. So, <laughs> Please do. That's what we're here for. <laughs> so for me, the passion really clicked. I think it's around 10 or 11 years that have been in this game in one step or another. And so back then, passion was a dirty word in business. There was mm. no respect of passion. So, hey, you know, I want to follow my passion. They're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, shut up. Get out, of here. <laughs> get out the door. Get out the door. <laughs> Johnson, take this guy out. Look at him. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how it was. Yeah. And then something switched with COVID. Something switched yes. with COVID. People had a lot of time to think, huh, do I want to be doing what I'm doing every day, 40 hours a week, do I, want to, do I want to be doing this for the rest of my life? Or even 10 years, yeah. or even five, or even three. Yeah. And a flip happened where people are like, what do I love to do? My time is finite here. What do, how do I want to serve and contribute? And so yeah. I saw a complete shift, complete shift for people being drawn to this. And guess what? For the people who still haven't clicked, Sorry, bud. If that's not going to click, right. I'm not your person. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't deepen yeah. through the COVID experience, then who knows? Good luck. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't ask those, if yeah. you didn't ask yourself those questions, of, right? Okay, okay, what do I truly want to do with my limited time here? How do I truly want to serve? You know, if those mm -hmm. questions did not click, then that's a road that I. That's not for me to carry yeah. you on. <laughs> well, this is how I say you have your right someone's, right? Like yeah. it's, and I think this is, I mean, I just, I, 
um, love how this is how we've clicked for sure. Because yeah. it's interesting. Recently, I said, um, I was like, my clients, you know, my right someone's, they ask themselves, they're the people that ask themselves, why am I, why am I alive now? What is their mind to do? You know, I think there's people that can go through their whole life and they don't ask that question. Yes. But I love that you hit on like the finite. And then even when they ask that, it's also the understanding of, you know, you can be in business for the finite, which you need to, you know, set goals and have, have revenue. But it's it's also my prerequisite is like you live for the infinite. Like, you know that you're planting seeds today that will have an impact far beyond what you may see in your lifetime. But you're going to do it anyways, because even if a few minds change or even if like there's that they're change agents, you know, yeah. and I think. That's what I see in you. And that's what I love. And I have, to have you on here because of that. So <laughs> I love it. I love it. So um, what, I guess, what advice would you give for that person who is struggling? They, you know, they have the passion, but somehow it's just, they're looking at their bank account and it's not, it's not transferring over there. Like mm -hmm. what, what should they do first besides call you? <laughs> <laughs> well, three things. Three things. Uh, number one, the world needs what you have to share. The world needs what you have to share. That's what I truly believe. So no matter where you're at right now, you have connected to your passion and the world needs it. There's so many people that are waiting for your expertise, waiting for your love, waiting for your own yeah. style of how you deliver it. Yeah. So number one. Amen. Amen. The world needs you have to share. Number two, purpose, passion, profit. You know, that's- That's, that's a loaded two. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, are you yeah. making sure, or are you like, I got to keep it to the three list now. So <laughs> could have become five real easy there. Go, go, go. <laughs> so we got subcategories. That's my little workaround. I love uh, it. I love it. Yeah. So those are always three things because then that'll make sure your cup is full. And yeah. the more your cup is full, the more you give and the vice versa so it's going to serve the world so keep in mind okay the money needs to flow short term medium term and long term yeah. and and that's yeah and that's the playbook okay and that means that you yeah. get to serve more so that's number 2 and number 3 the boundaries the boundaries so when we're following our passion it requires a higher skill with boundaries, I believe, than other realms. And I also truly believe that if somebody's not following their passion, they're not gonna understand what you're going through. They're not gonna understand what we're going through because it's a whole different ballgame. I've seen people that have conquered the world, but they start following their passion and it's like a weak, timid mouse. But that's okay yeah. because it's a new, it's a new game. It's like if you play basketball your whole life and you go to football, it's like it's a totally different game. Yeah. So the thing is boundaries. And what does that mean? It means boundaries with your time, boundary with your insight, boundaries with your money so that your cup is full. Because again, what happens when we're following our passion like clockwork for people is they get depleted because they're giving, 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 giving with no boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. And they get burnt out. Oh, and we yeah. don't want the starving artist. The, the age yes. of the starving artist is done. Yeah. What we're going into is the age of the abundant artist, the abundant creator. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I have to also just point out, like, it's this is why I, I love about you, Sebastian. Like, you know, I think a lot of times when people say three things, like they would already, I mean, maybe you did, but like they would already like know the three things. But I love how you, and it's just a confidence. It's and and I this is why I want people to notice too, and like try to discover within themselves. This is why I'm pointing it out. Is like when you that first point you made like you know the world needs you like you can't you can be passionate but if you don't connect that to like the authentic you it's not going to go very far at least i think and what i love is that you trusted yourself to feel into that moment like to know like there was a pause versus like the i'm just going to say this stuff and it's just beautiful because you pause and you're like and you do that a lot. And I, and I think more people should do that in business. Like, 
we get live in a society of go, 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 but everybody's dying for like that, just to take a breath. And, and I agree it's boundaries, but boundaries of, of time. One of the things that I talk about, and again, this is how I just love you and we align, um, which not all my guests have to, but I just really do. That's why I'm mentioning it. Um, <laughs> um, is I talk about rhythm. I talk about rhythm in business and I say, we are uniquely designed and, and, you know, like you have to listen and find like what your pace is, you know, um, you know, how, like, this is what success looks like, but what is that? We all have our own definition of success. So maybe it, it, the freedom is, you know, afternoons off or four day work weeks or two day or working from wherever, but, you know, to get there, you have to be operating in your business with your pace on the path and your rhythm. So, so I think that's very similar and I, I just love it. I love it. Um, well, okay. I have to show them, you know, where to find you. We got to do that. So true freedom AI. I love it. Um, what can, what, what can they discover when they visit there? Can they get a call with you or? So I recently made a shift where I'm giving everything for free on my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Stick on that link. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So no opt-in required on my YouTube channel. Recently I've uploaded um, 240 videos plus wow. part of that was I used to have a program that was $2,500 and I put it for free on YouTube. It's called decode, What's your, that called? Genius. decode yeah. your genius. Decode your genius. So okay. it's all about going into your passion. What do you love to do? What is your purpose? Walk you step-by-step -step, bite sized videos and all of the six modules. And so that's wow. my philosophy is give everything for free. And then for the few that want to partner up on your purpose-driven sales funnel, then that's where the website is at. Um, but I'm really excited about this. And because I, if, if you're, if you're following your passion, you're my people, you know, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, Amen. I, don't want Amen. I want to give everything. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to continue to is put everything for free on the YouTube channel. I love it. I love it. And every, yeah, I will be sure to include this in the post episode. Um, as a link too. And, and you are on LinkedIn as well as YouTube. We just shared that link. So um, be I sure do, to I have connect. A secret. I have a secret. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't really post on any of the social platforms. So LinkedIn, TikTok, Facebook, uh, whatever, Instagram, uh, if you send a message there, it's probably not, not it's likely I'm not going to see it. Um, so for me, I just keep it simple, put everything, pour all my love in the YouTube channel. Um, if you comment on one of the videos there, I'll see it. I'll comment back and, that's where I'm yeah. At. So that's your main one. Don't even leave with LinkedIn. <laughs> well, you do have to tell me. Um, so because I'm just too curious. The the LinkedIn picture, you're on a horse. Yeah. So why and and do you love horses? Like tell more. Yeah. So it's just not a, your normal LinkedIn profile picture. So I have to ask while we're on here. <laughs> right. So that was in Uruguay, I believe. Uruguay or Argentina. Um, I was there with the Maverick 1000 members. Uh, Maverick1000.com. Yannick Silver founded that. He's a mentor of mine and, and a true freedom partner. Uh, but yeah, we were, we we're out on this like billionaire's estate. It sounds so picturesque and it was, but it was a billionaire's estate and we we're horseback riding there. And it's just up there because- uh, It was like in your true freedom moment. It was. And I just yeah. haven't updated my <laughs> LinkedIn picture. <laughs> it's, <a> <laughs> reason. it's not even to like try and put something. We're rolling yeah. with it though. That, yeah. No, to me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it's, yeah, I guess it worked. Yeah. Well, this is what you talk about too, that when you um, can build that business that is, is their passion and purpose and brings in profit and the boundaries thing that you can then take the trips and do the things that, yeah. you know, aren't all work related. So I think that's, a, I do think that's an important message too, though, because it can be a blurred line when you are so passionate about what you do. It, you know, it still is very important to disconnect yourself from the business and, you know, have at, recognize that that is not your whole life. Like if you love it and you're, and you're, it's your purpose, it's easy to make it that, but it is essential to fill this cup to feed that, you know? Right. I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. And yeah, it's a tricky thing. Cause it's like easier for us to burn out because it's, oh, I love what I do. Oh, boom, boom, boom. But again, 
you know, like I said, it's the, the, the boundaries, the higher skill and yeah. having space to recharge, recharge. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And, and yeah, so the, the horse works, the horse works, yeah, the, horse the works. message. <laughs> And it, I always say too, peak, um, you know, peak curiosity. So it did that. So there you go. <laughs> I'm glad I'm following the method. <laughs> yeah, you're like it was a happy accident. I don't know. <laughs> well, um, so wonderful to have you here, Sebastian. Truly, truly, thank you for your time and 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 all your you know knowledge and expertise and just sharing you. It's um, you know, I don't think I don't know about you, but I don't think you normally get on like you know podcasts or shows and say I was like in the fetal position snotting on the ground, but that's what you come here for, right? So authentic conversations. <laughs> so I yep. appreciate you sharing the vulnerable you, the authentic you. And um, yeah, I am I know it was super valuable for our viewers. Um, I will just, yeah, share our, um, our next episode is, well, I'll say first, you can find the recording of the episode here on LinkedIn, or excuse me, on my website afterwards, as well as here on LinkedIn. Um, and I, yeah, I want your thoughts on this, but our next episode is uh, June 15th, same time, 1.30 p.m. Eastern time uh, with Holly Fisher. And our topic is to team or not to team. And the theater girl in me can't help go, that is the question, right? But <laughs> <laughs> did your mind go there too? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I didn't even know it was a theater thing, but yeah, it went there. She does do some copywriting. So maybe that's like <laughs> the Shakespearean side. I'm sure we'll dive into that, but wonderful to have you here. And I will definitely be going to your YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, thank you, Sebastian. It was truly a gift. You're very yeah. talented. And and I love that you embody fully your brand and, and that freedom feeling and speaking to you. Just the joy that we feel in your presence is, is powerful. So. Well, thank you for having me on and creating the space for the authentic conversation. And yeah, the last thing I'll say for everybody listening is just remember that your passion is your power. The world needs what you have to share. Your passion isn't weakness. The script has flipped and your passion is your power. I feel like I'm going to need a mug with that on it. So <laughs> <laughs> when you roll that out, let me know because I feel like, yeah, I like to have the mugs that say stuff. So. A shirt, a mug, something. You Keep let me know mind. when it's on the market and I'm buying one, okay? <laughs> Thank Thanks, everyone. Good to be with you. See you next time.